finally a juicy ass episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I missed it. But I'm here, and I'm finna review this shit. Let's go and get into it. Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know what episode this is, but this episode was everything, and I loved it. And y'all know the y'all already know what time it is. Black V Nick. So much shit happened this episode. So much shit that I seen that I need to address. And I said, you know what? It's been a minute. Let's go and get the black beatnik out and let's go and read and roast and go in. So, Candy decides that she wants to go to the damn barbecue from um, Aunt Floor or whatever her goddamn name is. That she probably paid for all the damn rib, the ribs, the damn rib tips, the damn pork, the shoulder, the brisket. She probably paid for all that damn shit because Candy, your dumb ass, cannot get enough of supporting every damn battle. You know what? I hope you leave, leave enough for Riley ass because I'll be side eyeing your ass down. You sit here taking care of everybody else, and my ass can't sit here and get no damn money to take care of the shit I need to be doing. Okay? So I don't know who the hell can and can. I don't know who the hell that was in your family with that blue and purple damn hair, but she like a, a confused ass freezer cup. Okay? I didn't know if I was drinking grape. I didn't know if I was drinking Poway. Whatever the fuck the shit was. That girl hair looked atrocious. I don't know why y'all even Bravo even showed that ratchet ass Atlanta damn um decayed ass bullshit. That was a fool. What else was I talking about? Mama Joyce. Let me get on your prison grill ass real quick. I'm just sick of you and your arrogance. You talking all this shit to myself. I'm trying to help but your damn boyfriend, whatever the fuck you, the, the nigga you fucking fucked up that damn house, okay? With his shrimp dick ass, okay? He messed up that damn house. The house is no damn good. And you're going to say, well, I'm trying to help her. Da, 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 and she can keep the house. How the hell is she going to keep this shit after you done fucked it all up? You need to go get a goddamn, you need to go get an AARP loan or something. Give her some of your social security check and investigate in that damn house. You know what, Mama Joy, I don't know what the hell your ass doing. Look, but I know damn well the life you live in is not coming from them Bravo checks. Candy has paid for your house for what reason? I have no idea. Now, I'm going to tell you something. If my mama was to, to act like that, I would cut her damn water off so dry. She'd be around there thirsty and parched like hell. I would give two damn two fucks, okay? Mama Joyce, I'm so tired of your pit bull face ass. You steady doing this shit. And I hate to talk about somebody, mama, but Candy Mama needs to be talked down to like this sometimes. Because she just won't, get, you know what? You can have a You can have it. Are you going to pay for it first, Mama Joyce? You done fucked it all. You know, your man done fucked it all up. What the hell did he do for a living? That's what we need to find out. Okay? To myself, she can have the damn house after you done fucked it all up. God, smack that damn wig around your ass 360 degrees. Okay? What else is going on? Child, Demetri Demetrius McKinnon. Child, who are you and why are you hooking up with Cynthia? What is Cynthia finna do for you? Child, Cynthia, like, I'm beating up like girls. Cynthia Baylor can't do shit. Y'all can keep calling her the supermodel, the unknown supermodel, the damn... Jet Magazine Slayer, whatever the hell she's slaying, okay, besides them dirty ass goddamn kebab, shish kebab ass wigs, okay. Cynthia don't really do shit. The Bay Agency ain't booking them. I mean, girl, we already got, uh, what, they ain't gonna be booking too much until around tax time to these four bunny kids' new uniform clothes, okay. She'll be, the Instagram's be, um, fuck, modeling for Sam's men of fashion, Sam's men of fashion, and and what else is it? Sam Simmons men fashion and, and fucking Kato's and shit. Cause these that and rainbow, honey, rainbow ass models, girls. Cynthia Bailey, cut the bullshit out. Okay? The Burlington Co Factor ass. So Demetrius um kid, she just talking, she just you know, and Jimmy Grick Cricket pop his ass up with his damn cane asking question question rubbing his belly and shit. I thought he was about to start chirping a minute. So he talking. And Demetrius like she had a party or something she wanted to go. And Roger Bob is her boo. And Cynthia like, oh, okay, da 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 She's like, oh, okay, so you know I'm going to bring my girls, Kenya. And, you know, Demetrius looked like, oh, okay, you know. I thought something, I thought they were dating. She said, no, 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 no. So we already know what's some shit going on. I'm surprised Cynthia ain't the shit star like she was last season. I guess she didn't pass the torch on to Candy, dumb ass. So she doing it. I'm here for it. It's cute. Um, and, and. And I just, I got kind of rubbed the wrong way with Demetrius talking about she been with this seven, eight years. Girl, you remind me of Nia Neil from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Like, I don't understand how y'all been, you know what, this is some shade I'm finna throw. For you people that have been in a relationship off and on for five years, that shit is not no damn five years. You need to count the longest time and count it this there. Because 
you cannot say we've been together five years and y'all ain't been successful together five years. Like, that shit does not make... That shit does not make any sense, okay? It's just like the military. Either when you when you get out, like, you get out, like, and you, um... If you do two years and you come back and you do 15 years, you only did 15 years, you didn't do 17, okay? You have to do them consistently. And I understand how some of we would get off together off and on. Girl, y'all went together? Get that shit together. Okay? That's, oh, we were together five years. Girl, y'all was together a year and a half. From the tea leaves I'm reading. Get killed at bullshit. Okay? What else was going on? Because I'm getting off subject talking about some other shit that irritates me. So, you know... Beach was, and she was just sounding really stupid, you know. So we get to uh, Kenya, you know. Kenya, Kenya's looking very good this season. I don't know what the, I don't know. If she eating asparagus or spinach or something. Her body is looking really, really good. I'm not saying Cynthia is. I mean, um, Kenya is a fun looking woman. She just, I don't know. She, she's, I don't know. The coins and checks may hidden, and they touch the agreement with her spirit. She looks really good. Um, the modern thing was giving me everything. I don't know what for the life of me. Why in the hell she needed Cynthia there? I'm just tired of Cynthia talking about this model and shit. Y'all know I'm just not here for it. I'm just not. I'm just not. But she did look good. And we get to great... Um, no, no. Cynthia talking about some... Um, she going back and she tell me, you know, I heard what's name used to... Roger Bob is dating somebody. He was a new girl. And, uh, and uh, what's name's like, oh, okay. I'm surprised because, you know, Roger Bob, da, da, da. So, child, you know we already getting ready for some bullshit. So, we get to Nene ass. And this is the shit I've been waiting to talk about all damn night. We get to Cynthia ass. Well, not Cynthia. We get to Nene ass. Greg getting his bloated ass out the damn car like he about to give birth to two twins. Two twins. Quadruplets or whatever. Pregnant as hell. Bloated and all the type of stuff. So, Nene's getting ready to do the damn um, HSN commercial. Okay? She's trying to do the H HSN. She's trying to sell them ugly ass shoulder K-Mark couture ass dresses and shit. And I'm just like, girl, where's the blue light, blue light special? What is this bullshit? Like, Nene, girl, them fashions are not all that. Like, I can go, girl, I can go cut up some motherfucking scarves to make that shit. But I'm going to tell you what else I can cut up and make. That damn fucked up ass wig that was on your damn head. Nene Leaks, baby. I don't know who was your hairdresser, but apparently they was doing this shit and they were just going to town. Just going to town, baby. They was doing some of everything, cutting this shit up. And, they, and you know what? And your dumb ass decided to put that shit on your damn head. So you know what? For the entire duration of this damn video, I'm going to have on your fucking comfy couch ass damn wig. Because you look like a goddamn clown, NeNe Leaks. With that damn fuck. I don't know. If, I didn't know if I would watch. I had this. I'm watching, um, you know, what's the name now? Once Upon a Time? Like, I thought we was going down a yellow brick road or some shit. The damn straw man, the damn scarecrow looking for it. And want the brain. What did, what did the scarecrow want? A heart or a brain? Or no. He wanted the brain, but instead of that, he needed a new wig, a new attitude, a new something. Because that shit was a damn fool. Nene, your ass was on that motherfucker talking in that damn confessional. Girl, looking like a shark. Had ate your damn wig up. You just, and you just looking like this, just talking shit. Like, girl, bitch, your scalp is bleeding. Okay? Bleeding, honey. That shit was all out like Nene, girl. You was like this, honey, just talking. And I couldn't see shit. I could not pay attention to anything that was going on. You know what? I can't do anything for you, Nene. But then to put this wig on, this makeshift wig that I made to pay a little homage. Okay, my fucking honey. To your ate up ass wig. Okay, but you know what? Let's bow down and let's have a prayer right quick. I'm asking you. To get the Swiffer Jet wet job broom mop wig that Nene had on. I'm asking you to touch the strongness. I'm asking you to touch the follicles. I'm asking you to touch her scalp. Snatch it back. Snatch it two times. Fix it in the name of Jesus. Because she was looking like some. She would look like Beyonce when she did her, her Grammy performance for this year 2014 Grammy performance. And she like she had blow dried. The wig looked cut up. It looked chopped and screwed. I didn't know if Bigger was on the damn remix. It was she would had it on and she thought she was doing some shit. She thought she was gonna bring it back, but I wanna take it back and ask for the refund because she had the wig on and it looked a hot ass mess. Nene, what the hell was you thinking? I've asked you to touch everything. Touch that wig because it looked like some shit. 
It looked like some shit. It looked like the thing I used to clean my toilet. Okay? I'm just not understanding. She trying to put Swiffer out of business with this wet ass, dry ass, wet and dry at the same damn time because we confused. And then you just had it on just like this and you talking. Talking and you just talking. And then my, and it's just looking like this. Like, girl, I'm going to just strangle your ass with that ugly ass wig. Bitch, it was an ugly scar. Fix it. Okay, I'm done talking about that tight ass damn wig. Let's move. Let's talk about them late Kmart couture ass fashions. Then you tell myself, I'm giving it because Greg likes to kiss my shoulder. Girl, how you gonna kiss his shoulder and his stomach bumping into your neighbor? Girl, get you some damn business. Okay? What else was going on? And you know what, Nina? You really pissed me off, and I had a discussion about that. Uh, so many times where you say, oh, you know, I always have to have one on my team. Or, you know, you always have to have one. And that's why, you know what, this is a message to you homosexual. You you homosexual men who continue to let these women and these people parade your ass on like a carry-on fag purse. Okay, that's what I call you, a carry-on fag. Oh, somebody carries your ass on and you hop out and you dry, you laugh, make them laugh, and you tap dance and you do all that damn silly ass shit. There's nothing wrong with being comfortable and open with your sexuality. There's nothing wrong with it. I am 100%. But you have to be careful with some of these people who want to parade you around like you are some type of, some piece, some, like, some item. And and I think some of you all just don't understand that y'all be going around and y'all be pooching around and this shit ain't funny. It's just not funny. And I'm not saying that the guy, he probably don't know Nene like that, but Nene, I would never let her. And you know, I have some people I know like that. I don't know them personally. But they'll try to be like, oh, okay, you don't make me laugh. Okay? Bitch, you, I'm like Ricky on um, basketball. Bitch, who are you? Like, how am I supposed to? I ain't the damn jokester. Bitch, what the hell you think this is? Like, make me laugh. Do some gay shit. Like, girl, this ain't what it is. And then you be laid up with Trey later on that night and be talking down about us. Girl, I've been through that bullshit before and never again. Okay? But Nina, you need to get that shit together. You tell me that's a Greg like a kid. Girl, and then that damn HSN host didn't know who the fuck your damn crooked grill ass was. She just doing because she was selling them damn thing. Tell me so we sold out of them. Girl, y'all done had them a 30 of them. Okay, y'all done had them a 30 of them ragged ass damn scarf ass dress. Tell me so you can saw shit. Yes, and that's my sh- Girl, Nene, I'm glad you, sh- you, you sold a couple of them Kmart couture ass fashions, but that's cute for you. Let's move on. I want to talk about some other shit. Um... Phaedra heads over Candy House, and you know, she kind of going through this little thing when Apollo, Apollo dumbass, still ain't getting his shit together. He still ain't realizing that he's about to go to jail and all that type of shit. So, um, I knew it was something. Some dude opened the door, and Candy House is so beautiful. Some dude opened the door, and come to find out, um, he's Candy's cousin or some shit, and he's like, his father went to jail, and, uh, you know, he grew up without a father and all that type of stuff, and she was just kind of telling you know, what to do, what should she, what Phaedra should do. And it's all, and like Phaedra, like it is all, it all depends on different families. Some people can't hold that kind of stuff. It just depends, but I think Phaedra is not comfortable with that. And that's something that is kind of very interesting. How do you do that? How do you tell a child, how do you tell a child that you know your, your father is getting ready to go to t- jail for a long time? Like, what do you do? Do you lie? I don't think lying is a good thing to do. I think you kind of kind of keep it real, but you got to keep it safe at the same time. And I think about that. I think about. I need to ask my mother how does she have that conversation with my cousins, um, seeing how their father murdered their mother. And I want to. And he's he's in jail on a life sentence. So I want to know how does that because I don't think they went to go see him. I don't think my mother has took them to go see them. And I don't, I don't know, you know, I don't, if the children probably want to, I think my mother wouldn't have no problem with it. Because at the end of the day, that's their father. But that's an interesting conversation, and um, I'm glad that they talked about this. Because it is probably, some people need to, you know, you know, still kind of have, realize who your father is. Although he's made a mistake on his life, you know. We still need to, you know, honor that father. I still believe, and I don't give a damn how bad your father and some did you. You still got to honor them and keep in touch with them or something, you know. But I quick throw a family member off, but I wouldn't do, I don't do close family like that. You know, I, I try not to, um, like, immediate family, okay? So that was interesting. And, and Phaedra was about to, she was tearing up a little bit. Candy always crying, so I, oh, yeah. I don't want to talk about her ass. Um, so, you know... Kenya ass takes her ass <laughs> to go see Robert Bob, Rob, whatever his name, Bob Roger, whoever, Rob, Bob the Builder. 
she goes to meet him or whatever. And she just like, let's get the tea. Let's find out who you're dating. And Roger Bob act like he just scared to say that he's dating Demetrius. Like he, it took him in, like it was something that he had to pull out his ass or something. I was just like, oh shit. And Kenya, you were kind of very disrespectful. You kept saying like, oh, you with somebody? I'm surprised. That, like you don't say no stuff like that because I don't look at it a man, you know, trying to talk to a woman. And you know, I have a husband or I have someone. Oh, you, I can't believe you claim somebody. It's just, you don't do that type of stuff. Somebody tell you they're in a relationship, they're with somebody, they're good. Back off. Back off and leave that shit alone. Let's leave that shit alone. I do want to give some quick shots real quick. I know I'm not at the end of the video, so don't close out. Um, two people that watched my videos um, popped up at my job. Um, I think it was today or yesterday and whatever. And it's just so funny and amazing. Who all watches me and it's just so cute. So, you know, a couple of people that uh, that watched my video, they popped up. It was cute as hell. It kind of made me nervous a little bit, but, you know, it was cute. Uh, what else was going on? What else is going on to talk about? Um, so, yeah, them talking about something you with somebody and all that type of shit. I thought that was just kind of disrespectful. So, you know, we meet up. All the girls meet up. Except Can and except Nini ass. And Demetrius' little... Um, Whatever you want to call it, bullshit ass. She want to call it coming out party, but her boyfriend or whatever he is this week didn't show up or whatever. He didn't do shit. And I guess it's her little music video or whatever. She's a music singer. I, I really don't like to sing a moon, moon tuna. All that bullshit. No one cares about that. So she, you know, had invited all the girls. They pop up and they doing whatever. And child, it was just some bullshit. It looked dry as hell. It looked ratchet as hell. And, I mean, it looked cute for the most part, but it just looked late as hell. The TVs were late. Um, the no disc scene, that that was so very unprofessional. Uh, what else was good? Because the TV should have been on when it was time to watch the shit. Not the TVs on because we we getting ready. It's just, it was a mess. Then all the people standing around them watching them, it just looked like they were on the celebrities in there. Everybody else was just locals. It just looked ratchet. Uh, <clears throat> what else was going on? So they put the camera on the brat. The brat was about the only damn celebrity there. And then I think Mimi Foss was there or whatever. Child, I don't know. I didn't hear her pussy falling at the door. So I really couldn't tell if she was there or not. Okay. Uh, what else was going on? So, Claudia, I'm just, I'm just, I, I, why was Claudia at the party? Like, Claudia, what the hell did you have on? And I had just came to my decision and decided to Claudia, you just can't dress to save your damn life, and, and you have a cute shape. You're a pretty little girl, but you just cannot dress, and you showed up with that bullshit on. Like, I, like were you getting ready to go be in a Richard Scary show? I mean, were you getting ready to be in the damn The Nightmare Before Christmas 2? Like, your outfit was just late. It just looked like, it just it was just late as hell, and I'm just, I want you to get it together so bad. I want you to, chlamydia, I want you to get it together. I'm going to have to prescribe some antibiotics to get rid of your ass, okay? Clap back. I'm sick of your ass, okay? Sick of the outfit. I hate it. So, um, Demetrius and Kenya end up meeting up and they talking and shit. And who goes Cynthia ass? And bitch, I got something for your long forehead ass, too. Somebody's like, oh, you don't want to go toe to toe. And I was like, oh, who Kenya's in a good mood? Because you don't want to go toe to toe with Kenya. I'm like, bitch, really? Um, we've had somebody go toe to toe with, um, with Kenya ass and she lost and she got. She got dragged, so I'm trying to understand. What are you saying, Cynthia? Okay, and you know what, Cynthia? Let me go slap your ass a couple of times, because it seems like the only time you're able to talk shit is when you're in the private of your own goddamn confessional. So the next time you get into it with Nene or Nene reading the shit out of your ass like she has done several times, I hope we, we need to put uh, some couches or something in the background, make you feel home so you can roast Nene back, because it seems like that's the only time you're able to talk shit. Okay, because Apollo showed his not need head ass on up, and he fucking with Phaedra, and Phaedra feel uncomfortable. She's like, oh, what's going on? You slip showing? Cynthia, you talk so much shit, and your man that ran your goddamn credit through the damn ground, and you talking about something. We should have had this at bar one. Girl, we surprised bar one was open because y'all got so much shit going, and the shit be closed for 30 days and a couple of months. And I mean, Cynthia, girl, sit down and shut the fuck up. I hope they get rid of your ass this day. I'm, I'm just sick of talking about you, to be honest. I'm sick of talking about because you just, oh, you you be popping off. And I won't, if Phaedra reads your ass, you'll be around somewhere crying, okay? You'll be around there bloated again, okay? So sit your ass down. You're talking all this damn shit. That's all your ass know how to do. 
And I can't wait till uh, Portia read your his next episode. I'm just like, ready for next episode. So Apollo just seemed like he wanted to make a scene. You do, oh, you could me, kiss me, and all that type of shit. Apollo, you know you're full of shit. And don't be trying to have no conversation with me at no damn club, you dumb fool. That's why you got caught, your stupid, greedy ass. That's why you going to jail, because you stupid and ignorant and you greedy. Okay? Your dumb ass. Somebody's trying to have a conversation. You don't do no shit like that in no damn part. That wasn't the time for that type of shit. Uh, and then... I, I and like Kenya was trying to say that Phaedra was trying to show like everything was good. If look on Phaedra, Phaedra made it seem like she was very uncomfortable, and she just didn't want to get too emotional because I, I felt that from her. The only thing that kept us from seeing probably tears form up was the thick ass eyelashes she had on. So you know, I, I, I it was very very uncomfortable to see Phaedra do that. I like Phaedra. I don't have no problem with her. I don't. Y'all can say what y'all want to about, but Phaedra's my damn girl, and she doing a damn thing. Um. I just don't know what to say. It just very was uncomfortable. Paula, you just stupid as hell. I just don't. I don't have no words for your dumb ass. I'm just glad you locked away. Throw away damn key. Show dumb ass. Oh, what else is there to talk about? I think that's it. Um, next episode is gonna look like it's gonna good. I probably got to be at work. Who knows? Who knows? I probably got to be at work. Um, I'm sorry for having the review so late. It's like damn near one thirty in the morning, so I know this shit ain't gonna be probably up, up to like two something. Um, and I did give y'all a solid twenty two minutes of me talking and going in. I appreciate y'all like me, share me on Facebook, all that type of shit. Tell me what I missed and what I need to talk about next time, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.